Hello, my name is Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to talk with you about varicoceles. In this five to seven minute video, I will describe a varicocele, discuss the common causes of varicocele, and offer some treatment option for this common condition that affects many men. A varicocele is an enlargement of the veins within the scrotum, and the scrotum is the loose bag of skin that holds your testicles. It's similar to a varicose vein in your leg. A cocele can cause a low sperm count and decreased sperm quality, and if left unattended or untreated, it can cause a decrease in size of the testicle. The signs and symptoms of a varicocele vary from a dull discomfort or a feeling of heaviness most commonly occurring on the left side. The pain and discomfort can increase with sitting, standing, or physical exertion. It will worsen over the course of the day. Many men report relief when they lie down and there is a lack of distension of the veins when men assume the supine or lying down position. These varicoceles may enlarge and become more noticeable over a period of time. The causes of a varicocele due to abnormal valves inside the veins in the spermatic cord that prevent the blood from flowing properly from the testicle back into the venous drainage system within the abdomen. The result of the abnormal veins is a backup of blood causing the veins to widen or dilate and thus become palpable in the scrotum. The tests that are necessary to diagnose a varicocele is usually by the history and the physical exam which identifies a non-tender mass located above the testicle. You will also be asked to take a deep breath and hold it while you bear down called the Valsalva maneuver which causes the veins to dilate or increase in size. Commonly a varicocele will subside when a man lays down and the doctor will often ask you to lay down to see if the varicocele disappears. Occasionally, a scrotal ultrasound may be used to ensure that there isn't another reason for your symptoms. One such condition is a tumor that could compress the spermatic vein. The treatment for varicocele is indicated when there is significant pain, when there is a decrease in size of the testicle, or there is a problem of infertility. The purpose of the procedure to treat a varicocele is to seal off the affected vein and to redirect the blood flow into the normal veins, thus preventing the dilated veins from causing pain and discomfort and affecting sperm production. The surgical repair for a varicocele consists of an open surgical procedure and this is the most common treatment for varicoceles which can be done on an outpatient basis. There are two approaches to repairing the varicocele. One is through the groin or inguinal area and the other is through a small two inch incision made in the lower abdomen. Most men are able to return to normal, non-strenuous activities two days after the procedure. They can resume all activities, including strenuous activities, approximately two weeks after the procedure. The pain and discomfort after a varicocele repair is very mild and is usually alleviated with oral pain medication, which most men need to take for only two days. Men can resume sexual activity approximately one week after the procedure. Men who have the procedure for a problem of infertility must wait three to four months after the procedure before obtaining a semen analysis 
semen analysis to be sure that the surgery was successful. Other treatments for varicocele include laparoscopic repair of the varicocele or percutaneous embolization where a radiologist inserts a tube into the vein in your groin or through a uh, insertion of a cannula into the neck where the instruments can then be passed or guided into the spermatic vein and then release a very tiny small metallic coil to create a blockage of the testicular veins. The percutaneous embolization procedure is not widely used because it presents greater risks than does open surgery either through a inguinal or a lower abdominal approach. For men who only have minor discomfort associated with a varicocele without a problem of infertility, these men can take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medication such as Tylenol, Advil, or Motrin. I also suggest that men who have mild discomfort wear jockey underwear or an athletic supporter to relieve the pressure on the testicle. In summary, a varicocele is a common condition affecting young men. It can be a cause of pain and can also impact a man's fertility if it is not repaired. Diagnosis is easily made by a history and physical examination. And surgical treatment is usually used to repair the problem. I hope you have found this video useful. And if you have any additional questions, I would like to refer you to my website, www neilbaum.com or you're welcome to call my office at 504-891-8454. Thank you.